Pauline Hanson has used her first speech to the Senate to warn Australia is in danger of being swamped by Muslims. The One Nation leader says she'll have more to say on that and a raft of other issues in her six-year term in the Upper House. From Canberra, here's Caitlin Gribben. Thank you, Mr Speaker. A first Hanson speech, second enough. time round. I have two words for you. I'm back. 20 years and four days since her maiden address to the lower house. I believe we are in danger of being swamped by Asians. Pauline Hanson's shared familiar views in the Senate. Now we are in danger of being swamped by Muslims. Inspiration for the new came from the old. Basically repeat what I said then in this speech because on a grander scale because it's actually worse now. A matinee in the West Wing of Parliament House before the main show. Some call it persistence and tenacity. My daughter described it as the Johnny Farnham comeback. Senator Hanson's encore has taken a little longer, but her political career and unapologetic style is back on centre stage. I have a grave concern about the foreign um, takeover. We have non-investment but buying up our land, our ports, our assets, our electricity. Islam cannot have a significant presence in Australia if we are to live in an open, secular and cohesive society. Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party is now a major force in federal parliament. She's brought in three other senators off the back of her vote. The federal government will need her support for some of its flagship bills and in return the senator will be demanding a hearing on issues including reform of the family court and the welfare system. Radicalisation is happening. She might get a hearing but not from the Greens. They staged a mid-speech walkout. To finally be here, I'm so very proud, very honoured. The sequel could be just as gripping as the original. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News, Canberra.